welcome to Exo News TV. I'm Michael Sala. On 29th January 2014, NASA live streaming showed what appeared to be a sleek elliptical UFO docked with the hull of the International Space Station. The object was between the Russian research module and the Soyuz escape capsule. Its size was approximately 10 meters. The recorded live feed was roughly two minutes and ended up with the screen going into blue mode. Basically, the ISS live feed was cut. When it resumed, the UFO was no longer there. Many among the general public saw the UFO docking incident as evidence that the International Space Station was being visited by a spacecraft of some kind. Was it part of a secret space fleet program or an extraterrestrial vehicle? Were the UFO occupants there to conduct a surprise meeting with the astronauts? Despite public requests to explain what the ISS live stream had captured, NASA did not provide an explanation. It was left to the general public to guess what the UFO was. Some claimed that the UFO was related to an ISS ceremony featuring the Olympic flag, yet the ISS cer ceremony was held in November 2013 and the flag was only about a metre in size, far smaller than the estimated 10 metre UFO. Another incident on March 3rd, again recorded from the ISS live stream, showed a UFO again very close to the ISS. The UFO appeared different to the first. Did the UFO belong to another group of space visitors? NASA's response to the public request to explain the docked UFO incident and more recent UFO incidents involving the ISS was startling. NASA had decided it would end live streaming. NASA announced its decision on the ISS live streaming site on March 10 with a simple scrolling message. Only those monitoring the ISS live stream would learn that it was about to be closed in two weeks by March 24th. NASA representatives responding to email requests said that the closing was for budgetary reasons. Public reaction was swift and furious. NASA soon received a large number of public complaints and demands to maintain the ISS live streaming. NASA first decided to temporarily extend the live streaming service. Then on March 27, I, along with many others, received the following email from Matthew Healy of the United Space Alliance, the NASA contractor that runs the ISS live stream. The ISS live stream management team would like to personally thank you for your kind words of support. Your effort has saved the site from closure. NASA had relented. The ISS live streaming would now continue. Yet NASA is still to explain what the ISS live stream had captured on March 3rd and January 29. NASA's failed attempt to end the ISS live stream suggests that events are transpiring at the ISS that NASA wants to cover up. This increases suspicion that the UFO docking incident did involve a spacecraft of some kind conducting a surprise visit and meeting with the ISS astronauts.